going on guys? So uh, today I got a Jeep in here. We got to do, uh, well, it's got some frame rust issues. I know, surprise. We're going to do the upper trailing arm mounts on the rear. Um, the old ones are blowing right out. Not really repairable at this point. Um, they've been patched up several times and it's just time to replace them. So we got some... I love Jeeps. So custom ordered some, customer ordered some uh, replacement brackets. Um, much easier to just order something sometimes. I mean, for how long it would have taken me to sit here and try to make this in my shop. Uh, I think it's like 75 bucks for a pair. Shipped, <laughs> already done. So sometimes it's just easier. You don't need to custom build every single thing. Sure, it's cool. Sure, if you have time, Go ahead and do it. I mean, I love doing it. Some of my own projects, I build my own stuff for no reason, just because I can. But for something like this, where, you know, he's paying me to do the work and stuff, you know, I'm straight up honest with him. I'm like, hey, you know, he wanted me to make this. And I go, go online and order. It's going to be like 75 bucks a pair. For you to pay me to sit here and make this is going to cost you more. So I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't have a, a plasma table. You know, I can't just put a program in and have this all cut out and bend it out. I don't have that. I, you know, I weld and stuff, but I don't have all those fancy tools as much as I'd love to. Maybe someday, I hope to anyways, but as of right now, I don't. So, had a motor some, they came in, they look pretty good and they're like quarter. Um, let's see, let's see here. 316, 316 steel, like, um, yeah. So, I'll try to video some stuff today and replace them. I know there's plenty of guys out there working on Jeeps that are like, oh man, how am I gonna do that? So I'll try to shoot some video up under there. It's poor lighting. I've only got my phone right now. I don't want my GoPro. So, um, but I'll, I'll try to show you the process and uh, kind of show you how I'm doing it. All right, guys. So as you can see, there's some previous um, weld there. Uh, it's kind of a mess, but you know sometimes you got to do what you got to do uh this was not me this was i believe previous owner to him even um yeah i mean this is what it is sometimes you gotta gotta make stuff work to get to work but uh that's one side and you can see the other sides much i think yeah this side's completely completely detached um you know, well then rust to rust. It doesn't really pan out most of the time. But this is what we're replacing today. All right, guys, so we got the uh, bracket off one side here. This side, this is the driver's side. It wasn't attached. Um, just fiddle around here. This is the bracket that came off there. Um, I did have to cut the trailing arm bolt. Um, it came with a new one, the new bracket did, so not a big deal. Um, I don't know that we wanted to reuse a rusty old bolt anyways. Let me show it to you. This was the backside of it. Um, that's supposed to be a nut, I guess, but yeah. Anyways, came with a new one, not a big deal. Um, and then the bolt for the um, brake line bracket, um, that was rusted on there too. And I didn't want to wreck the brake line, so it was much easier to just cut the head of the bolt off versus you know putting a bunch of strain on this and breaking the line or messing up your hose or whatever so much easier to just cut the bolt and we'll replace it um the new bracket did not come with yeah one thing i noticed the new bracket didn't come with the hole for that so we're gonna have to come up with something anyways and um i haven't really decided what yet um i don't know that it even needs to be that dramatic so we'll uh we'll cross that bridge when we get there though now i'm gonna Start grinding off all this old junk. It's pretty nasty. Gotta get rid of all this. Looks like somebody cobbed in a piece of steel here. Weld up here, all rusty. And I gotta watch for this brake line. Um, it does come off right there. I'll use two hands. But anyways, I'll keep it posted. 
So guys, as you can see, we can do some grinding up here. Um, it's been plated behind that bracket at some point. Um, I don't know. I think that was probably an attempt to try to get the bracket to hold on. There's no weld up here down this side or anything, which tells me they kind of just slid it up behind the bracket when they noticed a hole starting. But fortunately, unfortunately, um, we got a hole here that got uncovered. What's going on guys? So back out here working on the Jeep again. Um doing these upper trailing arm mounts. And uh I think I lost some footage somewhere in between. I think last time I was showing it off, I had just gotten the old one cut off. Um unfortunately I got the old one cut off and uh if you remember the there was a patch right here. Um I left that. Uh, it was fine. It wasn't rusty or anything. Um, I did clean it up and add some more weld around it. But um, unfortunately, from that patch over to about here, um, it was just a hole. So I, I I got the rest of that mount off, and then you know, as soon as you touch it, it just it just fell out. Um, and I and I poked it all the way over to here. You know, I'm, I'm not I'm not just gonna cover it up and walk away. You know what I mean? It's gonna be right. So. Um, yeah, so anyways, we had to put a patch in here. This is quarter-inch plate steel I had. Um, I cut it to go up. You know, you can see it comes up right here, comes over, and then it went up because that other patch was cut out of 45. I don't know why, but I brought it right up the side of that, welded down that, welded it across, all, you know, right here. I got some weld up top, too, just a little bit. The fuel line's right there, so, you know, I didn't want to put too much up there and have my welder right up next to that fuel line and stuff, but I did get some stitches up there. Um... You know, it's not a lot of meat up on the top of the frame rail anyway, so it's not like I could run a big bead down it, but plenty of weld up and all around here, all through here. I had a nice gap in there, so I get right down in, fill that all in. Um, probably, I don't know, quarter inch, five sixteenths gap anyways, and fill it all in with a MIG gun. And I got that all cleaned up, and then because I added that and I left that patch on there, I had to take a little bit of meat off of this. I cut it down about a quarter of an inch, so it sat where it was supposed to so that way it'll be in the right spot and um as you can see up here there's still a massive hole um so i gotta i gotta patch that up and then you know i'm gonna make a patch that comes up this frame rail comes up here and then it comes down kind of just so i can get some weld on the this bottom here and then i'll probably try to get some weld on that um Oh, sorry. Let's get some weld up on that sway bar bracket. Um, if you can kind of see. Not a lot of meat up there to work with. So, you know, it's not. I'm not going to make a huge plate to go all the way up and in and stuff because there's nothing to attach to up there. So pretty much I'm going to put the most of the weld on the bottom here because this is this is a patch. You can see they used um, diamond plate for some reason. I mean, I don't know. Whatever you got laying around, I guess, for some people. But, uh, yeah, so we'll put a lot of the weld on there. We'll get some weld on that sway bar bracket because that's solid. Um, and then obviously we've got to weld this side of the replacement bracket here. Hey guys, so just a quick other little, I don't know if I can call it a tip or whatever, just something that I do um, for you, those of you that don't have a lot of practice, I guess, you know, fabricating little parts and stuff. We'll get yourself a piece of cardboard. You know, this is a weird spot. It's got a bunch of different angles and stuff um, and the curve and everything. It's just, why am I going to sit here with a tape measure and, you know, go out and get all your tools out? Like, just get a piece of cardboard. Get a piece, pair of scissors, cut it out, you know? Fits up in there real nice now. I just trimmed it out with a pair of scissors. This is actually the box that the new brackets came in. Um, so yeah, I just trimmed it up under here with a pair of scissors and put it in. And, yep, that looks great. So now I'll just take it and I'll go uh, transfer it onto my piece of steel, cut it out, good to go. So just a little idea. Do what you want with it. All right, guys. So get the piece cut out. If I can, man, I should get it up there one hand. It's still pretty hot. Ow. Yep. There's a hole in my glove. Oh, I'm struggling. All right. As you can see, there it is. Ouch. It's hot. Yeah, I'll show it to you down here. Oh. Gee whiz. All right. There we go. That's oh, upside down. There we go. Got the curve, got the angle, whatever. You, you get the idea. It kind of sits up there like that. 
But yeah, that's it. Again, quarter inch steel, same as came off the same piece I cut the other stuff out of. So gonna get that welded in. What's going on guys out here? Uh finishing off this TJ trailing arm bracket replacement today. And uh, I got everything all welded in. Got my other patch put up there. Um, got this all ground up a little bit. Just cleaned it up with the uh, sanding disc on the grinder. Um, honestly, pretty much just to make it look a little nicer. Cleaned up some of the old weld that was here. Um, we'll get some paint on it, cover it all up. Just putting the lines back in place. Uh, these new brackets didn't come with a hole for, oh, sorry. Didn't come with a hole for the brake line um, clip. Uh, so I just got a uh, hefty, galvanized self-tapper more than adequate for the job but then i'm just gonna put it up there today so get that in there like that oh it's kind of difficult one-handed not gonna lie get over there get over there come on ah it's not a one-handed operation just in case you're all interested Perfect. There we go. Oh, get the fuel line back in its bracket. Get this brake line back in its bracket down here. Yeah, we'll get it in there. Anyways, yeah, that's, that's pretty much this driver's side finish up. This is the much worse side anyway, so I get those lines back into place. I don't think you guys need to see how to clip a line into plastic. I'll handle that. Hey okay, guys, so I'm over here on the other side. Um, just got the trailing arm dropped. Yeah, zoom out. Um, just got it down out of the way. Um, got it down here underneath that sway bar link just to hold it. Um, you can see there's a bunch of weld up in here. They've been trying to hold it together with over the years. I'm all through here. This is all bubble gummed up. Looks like somebody stitched this up here. I don't know. That might have got a crack or something. Likely that was probably a stress crack when, you know, one of these let go. That probably cracked from all the torque on it. Whatever. Um, but... Yeah, so we got to get this cut off. This is the original weld. This is the ta tab originally comes over and lays on the frame. That would have been factory. And um, I don't know. Seems to be seems to be something going on behind there. So I have my curiosities about what I'm getting into, but still not as bad as the other side. The other side was blown right out, and it was it was pretty nasty. So start cutting into it and uh, see what we got. Hey guys, so I got this new one welded in. Um, once I got the old one cut off, there was really, really nothing behind there. It was pretty good to go. There'd been a patch there, um, but this side was actually done fairly well. Um, I was able to leave the patch. Yeah, I felt like it was up to par. Um, yeah, pretty much just cut the old one out, ground it all down, put this new one in. Um, I got some extra weld down in here because um, this patch, it's running down the frame rail there. It's wrapped down and around. Um, when I cut the old bracket off, there was some weld down there that was kind of all messy. Oh, terrible with this camera today. Sorry. Um, yeah, so there was a bunch of weld there. I, I cut a lot of it out, and so I just wanted to put some more weld back because I cut so much of that other crap out. Um, so there's a little extra weld wrapping down under the frame rail right there. Um, it's not necessarily for the bracket, but more or less for those two patches where they meet. Um, so that is the reason for that. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, the side went pretty smooth. Uh, I'm just going to swing this arm back up there and get it bolted up. So, yeah, good stuff.